Today we'll be looking at our concession trailers. We do offer to have our smokers installed on the concession trailers. We do have the reverse flow barrel type smokers that we have available on our website. Looking at these units, we'll have a 250 and 500 gallon unit. This one will be a 250. With the smoker itself, it'll have forklift tongues on it so we can get it on there to get it installed. Or anytime that you need to have it taken off, you'd be able to have it taken off with a forklift. The back railings on our concession trailers do accommodate these smokers. It'll have where it has one pin each one of the four corners so you can remove it. That way the smoker can easily come out when you want it to. Now with the smoker itself when it's installed, as you'll see, we'll have the unit bolted down to the frame on the front and the rear to make sure everything is going to stay in place. The smokers themselves will have temperature gauges. The temperature gauges are easy to install, take out, and replace. They'll have a wing nut in the back, that way you can tighten them and secure them. With the reverse flow smokers themselves, there's a metal plate that goes underneath the side where the firebox is. It comes all the way to the end where there's a gap. With that gap, that's where your reverse flow will happen. Now, with the smoker trailer itself, it does have the grease drain, so did the patio style smoker, so you can put a grease catch underneath. And then looking at these units, they do have a prep tray that you'd be able to prep off of as well as when you open up your firebox the ones that are made for the concession trailers will have an opening on them in the front instead of the side so it's easy to feed your fire now with the concession trailer in mind we also look at having the exhaust where it's going to be forwarded out the back so you will have an angled bin where the exhaust will come out the back to where it wouldn't collect underneath the concession Now the porch areas we do have to look at the overall dimensions of what the porch is going to be. Whether it be a 10 foot, whether it be a 12 foot porch area. To look at the wheel wells where they're going to be placed. And by the time we get the smoker in, most smokers will take up about an inch or two inches of the walk space area. But with the wheel base it's at a 60% base, so it just has to work with that. Now with the concession trailer we can have it on one side or the other side or the rear. This one has a step up on each one of the sides of the trailer. It can be going along the driver's side, passenger side. All you'd have to do is take out the side step and have the door that would be on the back of the porch area be offset to one side or the other. With this specific concession trailer, we'd be looking at having the gas tank on the other side of the door. It only has one, but with this concession, we could have two on one side or one on each side. Either way, with our smoker concession trailers, most people will have where you have a refrigerator and different items in board that you can use. This one has a fryer, a griddle, a three-bay steam table, a three-bay sink, a separate hand-washing sink, and a concession window. This is a pretty standard setup on our concession trailers, especially for the barbecue event. And on the barbecue porch concession trailers as well, we do have where we can have the sides where they can be covered in expanded metal. They could be the open, rail, open railing like what you see now. You can have a half wall. Um, you can have a half wall flip up. And just different orientations. And we work with more smokers than just our reverse flow, so you can check us out at sleequipment.com.